Hi, hey Russ here. Welcome back to the shop. I was just looking at my new mounting bracket for my lift mechanism on the workbench mobility. Uh, on the last one, I was in such a hurry to get it done, I was having problems trying to get some kind of slide mechanism to work. And so I just did a, a plate with four bolts in it so I could just fasten this mechanism up to it and just put it on with my fingers and bada bing, bada boom. And it worked. I would, that's what I wanted. So I wanted it to work so that I could make sure that everything I was doing was right. And it turned out to be successful. But somebody mentioned to me that, that I really should have a sliding mechanism on there instead. And as I told them that, yeah, you're right. I, that's what I really wanted to do. But it just got to be a problem because of the space I had and that sort of thing. And he goes, I don't see a problem. And it just kind of drove the point home. Very polite. I thought it was very... Uh, diplomatic the way he did that but more importantly he got me to really start thinking about it again and so instead of waiting a year or two years to do it I decided that it would make a great video thank you Andy for the idea to show you how another alternative to how to mount this thing rather than the way it was and this is much better quite honestly I can put it on and off in seconds so I can move it from one side to the other, and it's opened my eyes up to something else too, and I will go over that too when we're done when I show you how this works. So first thing I'm gonna do is show you how it worked. If you remember the old one, it was just a plate that sat on here, and this is the plate here. And I had it screwed down to the uh, side of the table of the workbench. And then the four bolts stuck out, and I just stuck this on and took it off. Well. I've changed that. Now I've made it so that I can take it on and off without any tools and it only takes me a minute. And this plate is mounted on here semi-permanently and this will be used. I can use it here at the other end of the bench and I plan on using this plate to mount to other things and do other things. So I have the plate will probably end up being on here permanently. And I, uh, I have two of these. Um, so actually I actually have two plates. The one that was on the other end is identical to this one and I use it on the other lift. So anyway, let's mount it up and let me show you how quick and easy this is. I have the post on the bottom. I take it and I just drop it into the slot, into the square, and I shove it to the right. There's a lip underneath there to catch the edge of the pad of this backboard. And then I just shove that over. This thing is now ready for me And just that quick and easy, I am now off the ground. And when I'm done, I can just let it back, back, lift it up, take the pressure off it, slide it, and it slides out, and I'm done. So, this is a much better mechanism. It's just two layers of plywood, and real quick, this plywood, it's one inch thick press board with a uh, plastic veneer looking, wood looking uh, stuff on here. And actually, this is pretty good stuff. I took, I found alongside of the road this big, huge desk with a hutch. And I took it because it had all this flat wood on it. And I thought I might be able to use, you can always use flat plywood in the shop or something in the shop. So it's sometimes I get them off the side of the road. This thing was a killer to load up. Turned out why? Because it's one inch thick on all the plywood on it. This stuff is great. I got about two-thirds of a sheet left in pieces, and I've been using it, and this was a great perfect for this project here. So this is one-inch thick stuff of this back here. So I made a three-way square here, and then where this piece and this piece butts up together underneath here, down there I left a gap in between so that any sawdust that goes in there will fall out. And rather than getting packed in there in the corner. So um, if you do this, make sure you put that in there or you'll have be fighting sawdust all the time trying to shove that thing back in there. But you do want to use this uh, on both layers. It's good and sturdy. So the second layer, when I did it, so I have my three-way piece here, and this side is open, and that's what this is. Uh, this piece here is identical to this one. When I put this layer all the way around, it's raised out the thickness of my plywood. And so, and I left this area open for the, that to slide in there. 
and this has the lip just like over here and that's why when I put the piece in I can bring it over and it catches the other lip on the on the backboard so it's pretty simple mechanism doesn't take up a huge amount of space I supported this board here so that if there's any outward pressure on this piece this is spanned but it's anchored on both sides so it's not it should have no problem holding the pressure of this thing all it has to do is hold it against flat against there the real pressure is pushing up and this is well anchored all through here so at this point this thing is going to be it's rock solid and it's quick and easy to put on I love it but this got me to thinking that in all reality I didn't have to put those casters on there at all duh all I really had to do was take if you know where I got these from I originally bought these because I was moving 22 inch diameter logs around that I had gotten from a couple of trees on my property and I have some seven footers about 10 or 11 of them so it's quite a bit of wood once I get them on the driveway I had sometimes I'm gonna have to be moving these around and so I took these two mechanisms and I turned them into uh, I bolted them to the end and I made an axle for them and I showed you the axle uh, earlier that I put on the one so anyway what I was thinking is that really if I just took these and this is the other one I have and this one still has the casters on it it's two swivel casters but I have the same plate on here so there's really no reason why this can't be on here and now I have the casters and now I'm up on casters I probably could have set some kind of mechanism up here and never used the casters at all so I could throw a set of these on here and put an axle on both sides use two of them and I now make this thing mobile without any casters on this mechanism at all I don't need to put casters on it never thought about that till now but at the time originally I didn't think about using this either as my lift I've only recently enlightened my head about this and this works so much better than the scissors jack did <clears throat> and what I just did was show you another way to use this machine this mechanism in your shop if you have a I'm going to take the same setup same backing plate and I'm going to get a mounting bracket mounted to my table saw and I'm going to mount these on my table saw so I can move my table saw around should be pretty easy to do and I think that I can probably put something in there without any real trouble so that I'll be able to do this um, anyway stay tuned for that so I think maybe we're gonna find some multitask use for this and if you have a small shop like I do one man especially if you ever have to move anything heavy a pair of these are very handy to have and in all reality, if you think about it, when you buy it, it has a swivel single wheel on the bottom. If you buy three of them, I could mount three of these things on here, and I wouldn't even have to make anything, or any casters or anything. I'd just mount them, use it, and take them right back off. And it'd be a great way to have a mounting system on any heavy equipment in your shop. You could use the same three mechanisms to roll anything around, and you, the only thing you buy is that these three mechanisms, and then make adapting hardware on all your pieces that you want to move around it's it's actually a pretty good idea to have and I think you can multitask this little piece of equipment in any small shop now think about it for a second what if you get a new piece of equipment a new table saw a new band saw and this thing comes down and the truck unloads it in your driveway now you gotta move that thing into your shop that's a chore well, chances are, if you have two of these, it's not a big deal. You would just take out there, quickly build some kind of mechanism so that you can mount these directly on each side, lift it up onto those dollies, and into the shop you go. You'll be able to push it in all 400, 500, 1,000 pounds, whatever it is. And in fact, if you take these and use three of them on anything and use the swivel wheel only 
you could get a three-point contact and be able to roll anything around and you wouldn't even have to build the axle for the casters or anything so I think I'm gonna end up buying a third one of these and I'm gonna play with the idea of mounting this on something in here that's heavy and doing a three-point uh, contact lift between the three of them and see what I can do with that I think that actually might be kind of cool before I'm done so these are going to be handy in the shop I think if you don't have a set of these you might start thinking about it because now I've already shown you a couple of things that you can start doing with the shop and I guarantee you that if you bought a couple of these or even three whichever you want you can work with either setup uh, but you'll start finding uses for it in your shop I guarantee it if you can do a little bit of OTB thinking so anyway I wanted to show you my new mechanism I wanted to talk a little bit about how this is a very useful thing in the shop and I should have got three of them instead of two and I probably wouldn't have had to buy casters or anything live and learn but uh, also Andy don't forget to send, go out to him and thank him for saying for encouraging me to do this for us so if you have any ideas or suggestions of making it better or how else to do it I'd love to hear it that's what I'm here for like I said I love to hear information as well as show you what I figure out and one thing I should tell you that creating something out there on YouTube don't ever think you're gonna do it the best way possible because quite honestly there's always one better just like lying there's always one better <laughs> so Anyway, you keep that in mind. As long as you keep an open mind and listen to what other people say, you'd be amazed what you can learn out there because that's, that's what I do. I learn a lot out there on the Internet. And here I thought I knew it all already. So uh, have fun with this. Don't be afraid to share. Um, I want to thank you for stopping by. If you like this video or you learned something here, hit that like button. It helps me out. Uh, most importantly, though, come back again because... Thanks to people like Andy, I'm never going to be done here. Thanks. We'll see you again very soon. I'll be back.